weakened but still deadly. Dorian is now a Category 2 hurricane creeping up the Atlantic coast. It is possibly headed for South Carolina, but the storm's force is impacting several states. Fox News correspondent Lauren Blanchard reporting from Atlantic Beach, Florida tonight. Hurricane Dorian threatens multiple states in the southeast, causing flooding and power outages. Already federal assistance is on the way. Dorian's size and erratic path have people in several states bracing for the worst. The hurricane is moving up the east coast and could still potentially make landfall in the Carolinas. Even if the storm stays offshore, Dorian's outer bands are powerful enough to cause serious damage. Triple threat of heavy rain, high tides, and storm surge. There's a threat of wind, uh, a, a higher risk of wind threat. So it's really a quadruple threat. Hurricane warnings are in effect from central Florida all the way up through North Carolina. Millions of people remain under evacuation orders. FEMA says it's all hands on deck. About 10,000 uh, federal and National Guard uh, troops activated in four states. Uh, 40,000 line workers ready to do electrical restoration. President Trump has been briefed on the response efforts and says much needed help is finally reaching the Bahamas, where Dorian has left islands like Grand Bahama and Abaco in ruins. We're sending some, some people to give them a hand and they need a big hand. What's going on over there is incredible. The U.S. Coast Guard, United Nations and the Red Cross are among agencies trying to reach disaster zones in the Bahamas. Here in Florida, some storm warnings have been downgraded and airports have reopened as Dorian gradually moves north. In Atlantic Beach, Florida, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.